Okay, we're here live uh, in Bertie County and we're looking at the rescue mission for um, Bertie County, specifically the Morning Road. But look, I have three men here that can help us with it and they're gonna talk to us. And I'll just start with the chair of the uh, Bertie County Commissioners, uh, Mr. Ron Wesson, and you can sort of let us know what's going on. I hear there's a lot of uh, people trying to raise money and it's not going, may not be going to where it needs to go. Right, well, I think it may be some little confusion about it, but we will be very clear. There's only been one official fund that's been set up as a relief fund for the victims of the tornado. And the correct name of that would be the Bertie slash Morning Road Tornado Relief Fund. It is being administered by the county. Those funds are gonna be used to for food, for uh, temporary housing, and for personal expenses of people impacted, just for those things exclusively. So uh, we opened up the fund yesterday. It's available now. There's a PayPal link to it. So if you want to give 50 cents or you want to give $50,000, <laughs> we're there, but we're going to need those funds. What you see here is the collection of household goods and clothing, and we don't want to confuse that with the financial, because we need both. We mm -hmm. need the financial end of it, but we also need the vast citizens who've lost everything, the things that sustain them. So this is the hub for that. We can always distribute to other places, but we're bringing people in here who are from the impacted area the next two days, Saturday and Sunday from one to four. We're gonna bust them in. Those who want to drive can drive, and then we'll verify that they have been impacted, and then we'll try to assist them as best we can. That's where we are so far. Okay, so Chairman, how do you see, how long do you think this will be going on? Well, uh, I don't know. I would say at this point, we're going to try to do as much as we can, as quickly as we can. We've learned from past disasters. Mm -hmm. This kind of thing can't go on forever, right? We get a lot of requests for a lot of things. It's important that we get the best, the, the, the most specific needed things to people quickly. Mm -hmm. And if we have stuff left over, let's make sure that we can donate to someplace else. From and there. I'm going to be posting some numbers. Do you have any, in the numbers that can Yeah, be. the number for the information, number to get any information about what we're doing is 252-794-6144, 252-794-6144. That's our information center. They can tell you about here. They can tell you about the donations. They can tell you about what's happening out uh, in the field. Thank you so Thank much, you. sir. Thank you. And here's the gentleman, Hearts <laughs> with we're, Hands. Yes, we're yeah. from Asheville, North Carolina, mm -hmm. and uh, the county had asked us to come in to set up their distribution center and to get it ready for the event tomorrow and Sunday, trying to get the supplies organized, put it where it needs to go, and then we'll bring the folks in and begin to help them almost like a shopping center. So okay. uh, begin to help them and make sure that they've got everything that they need mm -hmm. uh, to take care of them, especially losing everything they have. A lot of folks don't even think about, but a toothbrush that we use every day, they have none, you know, because of it's gone mm -hmm. uh, with their house. So uh, we pack hygiene kits, get that ready. And so we'll have those delivered here and then they'll have those already pre-made, ready to go, that they can take that with them and have their uh, have all the products like that that they need. So you're gonna be part of helping them to get here also? Uh, yes, they'll be, the county will be helping us get the folks here. And then my role in this is supplying the supplies, getting that here and helping the folks once they get on the ground. Okay, and I know we're here early, but I'm sure you have other organizations that want to um, protect, come out and right. help and lend a hand because they've got churches and leaders and they want to come and help you do some of the things you're doing. Right. And there's two sites. Also at Cedar Landing, right there in the community, that's what's called the pod. That's the local direct delivery space. So they have water. They have masks, they have gloves, they have those kinds of things there. Food boxes. Okay. Absolutely, but we don't want to overburden them on that site with all of this, right? We have to separate the, separate mm -hmm. the things uh, because that's a relatively small footprint. We've got a lot right. more storage space here. Right. Yes. Okay. And uh, Mr. Trent, uh, tell us what's, what's going on. How, how are you handling things too? Well, Another you know, county commissioner yes. works closely with uh, yes, uh, our county chairman. 
we're closer with our chairman. Right, exactly. The main thing is getting in contact with people that I know that are corporate leaders and turn around and get the financial donations put into our funds that, or accounts that we need to turn around and get it distributed out to the people here that have been affected by the tornadoes and that have been displaced. You know, it's the key thing is speed right now, getting things set up properly, turning around and making sure that the accounts that are set up are the accounts under Bertie County so that this money can go directly to the people and be able to take care of them. For example, we walk in here, this gentleman here is talking about needing uh, large garbage bags, things of that nature. Well, I make a call to a company down in Florida that I used to do business with. We got 2,000 of them coming. We also got 200 tarps coming. And hopefully they get here quick. I just made the phone call 15 minutes ago. So we're pulling all stops out. I want to thank a couple corporate leaders out there. One is Purdue. Purdue has been fantastic as far as supplying food, meat, things of that nature, chicken and also financial contributions as they always have done great company the other one's republic services one a lot of people don't hear about but republic services is all about this right now they have done gone to their corporate headquarters they're getting financial contributions set up for us the whole nine yards also the people that work at these companies have called me personally and saying that they're going to be collecting money with inside the companies and this that and the others you get it into our accounts as far as it can be distributed to the people of the area that was affected mm -hmm. so that they can get a start up and go okay mm -hmm. and and get them taken care of as fast as possible i got a question man like uh, i'm gonna use myself as a, as a scenario our church says we want to help and we got members that are ready and willing to come to do some volunteer work etc or want to bring something what's the strategy there there's one thing i think it's important i would direct everybody to go to the county site there are flyers on there that say, if you want to give financially, it'll tell you how to do it, where it goes, how it should be made out. Just one specific thing. If you want to give goods and services like this, it tells you the things that we need most. It'll say we need water, we need baby wipes, and we need whatever. So you can see the kinds of things and clothing, and you'll know where to bring them and how we're going to go about distributing them. So we've got that kind of identified. We're trying to drive everybody to that number to call when they call that they'll direct them to that right place so we can get everybody to go to that one number yes sir go to that one site right. or to the county website and you'll see the flyers right there yourself and and then from there uh you can decide how you want to yes, sir. are there uh, day and night hours for a person like myself they want to actually come out and do some hands-on I, I see about i see some stuff over here it looks like it needs to be uh fleshed out or put in where the places they need to go is that right well one of the things that um, you always have in a storm is the first thing folks do is they'll clean their closet out with mm -hmm. clothes and that's hard for any community to handle okay so the less of that that we get the better because what you're trying to do is get all of the stuff that these guys have worked hard to get together from corporations from uh businesses and that's new products that we're trying to help these folks so right. you, you know they're already dealing with a disaster you don't want to put another one on them uh that they have to deal with it's so difficult we, to sort a lot of clothes right. when you look over here you see pillows you right see, see this is all new See, and we already we already done. make it where we've got these in hand, mm -hmm. and it makes it easy for these folks that they can say, okay, I've got a family of four, mm -hmm. uh, I need so many towels, I need so many what, and then we have that, mm -hmm. and it makes it easy for them to be able to handle that, get it, and it's good stuff, it's new, uh, mm -hmm. they don't have to worry about you know somebody else has used it, and especially we're trying to be safe during COVID, mm -hmm. you know, trying to make sure that we. Uh, keep everybody safe as well as much as we can. So yeah. doing that's our about, part. That's about volunteers too. One of the things you see on the site, there's one organization that's kind of trying to coordinate some of the volunteers and that's Samaritan's Purse. So they have their people on the ground. They, if you want to volunteer, we're trying to direct them to them. They do a little quick training thing to touch what the do's and the don'ts, but then they'll put you to work. Whether it's out on the sites, going through stuff, whether it's unloading stuff like we have here, mm -hmm but they, they are kind of handling the volunteer piece. But if somebody comes to the county and calls that number and say, I want to volunteer, we'll direct them to, to the right place. Yes, because we have churches as far away as Charlotte, 
Asheville, Greenville, uh huh, Greenville, yeah. uh, Wilmington. That when they see this, they may want to just get in their van or their truck That's right. That's and right. come up. That's now, what right. about uh, well, like tomorrow? Uh -huh. So tomorrow from one to four, we're having a special event for the for yes, the folks. We uh, tomorrow and Sunday. So what we've got? See shopping carts we've got brought in, and oh, so man. we'll have volunteers with those families helping to get the supplies that they need in those shopping carts, and then we'll take it to their cars or the bus, depending on how they got here. Okay. And so that'll take man hours and people hours to do that. So they literally just so, get a shopping cart, yeah, go so around right, the building, right. and, and, and get whatever they need. Different stations, what they need. See, that's yeah. a very simple, very easy, and very productive for the folks that, that need assistance and help. Mm -hmm. And we got five school buses that are going to be set up going into the, the affected area. Picking That's people my next up, question. Bringing them here. Thank you to the school board. Thank you to the school superintendent for that. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Dudley also. Thank you very much. And the flyer that uh, Commissioner Weston was saying, Chairman Weston, excuse me, it looks just like this right here when you pull it up. And I'll, it's got, I'll put it on. I'll put it please. down in the comments. Absolutely. Yes. Uh -huh. Needed donations. And it gives a list of everything that we're talking about. And that is something that's very important because this is unlike a flood this is a tornado where there's nothing left at all and as i was explaining to people before towels sheets things of that nature right. are most important that normally don't come to a flood victim's house okay mm -hmm. is mainly food water cleaning supplies mm -hmm. and of course baby products as far as diapers and things of that nature mm -hmm. but these are the most important things because a lot of these people are going to be starting over from scratch with nothing okay mm -hmm. but again whatever you can do to help whatever you can donate as far as money whether it's 50 cents or a dollar whatever it can be please get to those that fund as far as morningside tornado relief fund and that way there we can turn around and put this money to good use and there is no administration cost if you're a corporation you hear this you see this make it Bertie County morning road relief tornado relief fund okay mm -hmm. and it is tax deductible I will put that in it because I had a lot of corporations ask me about that and they said absolutely no problem mm -hmm. so make that deal and we need to come through with this okay so our, our bishop uh, is very concerned, Bishop Will Leroy Willard. He's a jurisdictional bishop. He's very concerned, but at the same time, he has a level of integrity that he wants to make sure when he asks the churches to do what they do, right. that everything comes to where it needs to yeah. come. And you always have your faith-based community that steps up to the plate a lot of uh, times right at the beginning to help. And so that's what these guys are doing is making sure that there's no scams, there's no other funds they've got the one fund to make sure that helps these people that's been affected and so that, that's important guys, because the reason we started early to try to do this to give people some assurity some certainty of where they should invest this is the county is going to administer this right so they mm -hmm. can count on that because we found that there were gofundme accounts and all kinds of things mm -hmm. found one the other day set up by somebody in california now they mm -hmm. maybe maybe they're going to do the right thing but People need to know that if the county is involved, we're going to make sure that it goes 100 percent, as John said, no overhead costs, no whatever to help folks in the community. So, so they want to look to make sure that absolutely Bertie County, Bertie County absolutely slash morning road tornado relief fund and Bertie County on there. OK, because that's most important. And as Ron just said, matter of fact, I got a, a, a text from the state. Uh, Michelle texted me that she saw numerous things being set up on Facebook, oh, GoFundMe accounts, mm -hmm. uh, all over the place, and disclaimers are being put out, as we have discussed with the county manager, disclaimers put out that Bertie County is, as Ron has said, what the mm -hmm. name is, okay, okay. Bertie County, and, and that's the deal, so. Okay, fi final thought, just, just say something to uh, our churches uh, concerning what we need to do from here. Well, first of all, I'd like to say thank you. Thank you for all the help and support that you can give us. And that's to, we have so many citizens, so many good folks like here, like Greg, who are, who are trying to help us and bringing resources to us. We are appreciative. We're gonna to try to make sure that these services get to the people as quickly as possible. We wanna make sure that we meet their needs, uh, but we need help. And so whether it's goods and services like this, or if it's financial contribution, we need it quickly. 
and we're going to put it to work. All right. Yes, and uh, we just want to say thank you as well. And uh, being a church-related situation, I'm an evangelist, a preacher, <laughs> and so I know where everybody's coming from. Yeah. And uh, this I hear is, it in your voice. Yes, <laughs> and this is just the way that we can all work together and brag on Jesus while we're doing it and make a difference in the lives of these folks that's been affected. Yes, sir. And the outpouring from the county itself and the people of Bertie County and our surrounding counties and from around the United States of America towards Bertie County, which wasn't known until this happened, this tragedy happens, okay? So right now I can say thank you to everybody that's involved. Doesn't matter what you do, how you do it, but we appreciate everything you're doing. Thank you very much for what you're doing for Bertie County.